We are visiting today a 34 meter steel hull classic motor yard that was built in 1960 in Cleveland shipyard in the UK. This boat is now seriously for sale. Last year she has, been, she has went through a major service uh, which is somehow still going on. Uh, the, the hull was painted, the whole interior was changed, solar uh, system planet has been added, a lot of mechanical things has been changed. I'm going to take you through a very walkthrough video and show you uh, all these elements that has been changed. Another important uh, part of information is that the boat is VAT paid. The VAT was paid in Spain last year. She's registered under Malta flag. Uh, so we are going to make a very long video, as I mentioned. Uh, if you want to skip from one part of the video to the other, use the chapters at the video description below. You will also find there a link to the web page of the yacht and by clicking it, you will see photos the full specification list and additional information. So we are making this uh, video today in South Spain. It's about 100% humidity. I'm all dripping. Uh, still, it's a nice day. We are starting from the bow and what you can see in front of the camera is a Bezenzoni massive crane that has been uh, put here as part of the refit and a big cradle for the dinghy. Uh, this has been done because the owner wanted to clear the, the aft deck of the second deck as we are going to show very soon. Now I'm standing on a beautiful sunbathing area right here and we are facing astern and seeing the pilot house that we are going to visit soon from inside another sitting area just in front of the pilot house beautiful place to spend time while the boat is cruising and also anchoring now uh, on the top of this uh, pilot house there is a big a solar panel planet. I hope you can see it now. The ladder is not uh, open. Uh, I will provide photos of that in the web page. In any case, there is uh, also new big inverters from Vitron that has been attached to this system, uh, as well as uh, lithium batteries. So all in all, uh, she's quite self-sufficient and can save a lot of uh, generator hours. Now here we see the port side, uh, sidewalks, uh, some of the tick decks has been renewed, uh, some, uh, some areas still needs to be refreshed, this is, a, this is part of the things that are on the list of the owner uh, or the new owner depending when the boat will be sold. Now we are stepping inside the pilot house uh, via the port side. Uh, it's a very nice classic look pilot house. Some of the equipment here uh, is, uh, is not new and some uh, is new. So let's start very quickly to see what, uh, what kind of equipment we have here. We have a Kodan um, radar and we have uh, one G uh, VHF from uh, Advanced C. There is a new uh, VHF from ICOM, um, analog gouges for the MAN engines. Now the MAN engines are from 2005, they are not the original from 1960. The original engines has been from Rolls-Royce and this is why we have this, uh, this old uh, logo of Rolls-Royce. Uh, there are two new GPS machines here, one from Ferruno and one from Siwa. And uh, there is a new autopilot, not, not the uh, controller, but the mechanical part from uh, uh, Robertson. Uh, GPS and chart plotter, as I said, from Ferruno, uh, the lady here in the Spanish coast. Coast Guard is a little bit disturbing, so I'm going to take this down. Let's have another look from the side, uh, from this side, from the starboard side to the pilot house. And let's 
slowly proceed astern on this deck. Now behind the pilot house, there is a kind of a space and here on the starboard side, there is quite a big space. This space can be used to lay a couch or alternatively to put a captain's cabin. We are uh, stepping outside of the pilot house through this uh, sliding door. And here we are, this is what uh, the present owner is defined as the best part of the outdoor uh, part of the boat. There is a big um, kind of a wet bar or small kitchen with a new sink. Uh, this is a garbage bin. Underneath there is a, I'm not sure how to open it, but there is a dishwasher down here big coffee machine. Uh, now this area is protected from the wind uh, and it's half closed as you can see here. And on the other side, on the starboard side, there is a big couch, uh, very nice to spend time while, while it's windy and still spend time outside. TV, and under the TV, there are two fridges new fridges. Uh, let's open one of them. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Let's turn the camera stern and head into this uh, towards this dining area, beautiful dining area. It will sit uh, 10 people around. Um, very beautiful with a beautiful viewer all around going further astern there is a beautiful sun bathing area here and here you can see the canoe shape of the boat typical to the era when uh, she was built classic uh, gentleman's boat so from here we will uh, go back forward and we will go downstairs to the main deck to explore it. Now the way to the main deck is through this stairway. There are about 10 or 12 stairs. And here we are, there is a long corridor on the starboard side, which is connecting the salon that we are going to visit soon. There is a service area here and a day toilet. We will see them soon. But we will start going forward all the way. Gali, we are going to visit soon. Guest accommodation. But we will start with this uh, TV room and now here you can see the big work that has been done by the present owner uh, the whole wooden classic look of the boat has been changed and modernized and as you can see this is kind of a tv room and it is mainly used by the children of the owner see the height of the the tv and this uh, this mattresses on the floor beautiful place uh, for children to spend time, play or watch TV. Very good natural light. Some of the uh, windows can be opened like here, this one. Very pleasant uh, playroom. Now, if uh, the new owner wish, this, this cabin can be um, can be actually converted to a cabin on the main deck, which also can be an option uh, if someone thinks that this will serve him. Now, from here, we are back into the corridor, and down here there is a stairway which will lead us to the master cabin, and we are going to visit the master cabin now, stepping down. And here we are.
Now it's a beautiful uh, master cabin, which is a uh, full beam. Modern look, light colors, which enhance the space of it. Kind of a seating area, which is now missing the mattress, but still you can use it. Very large bed, I believe it's a king size bed. And to this master cabin, there is an ensuite. Good size ensuite. The marble are original, white marble with, with good condition, sink and toilet down here and a large shower which is stretched inside okay that was the ensuite of the master cabin last look on that two round windows that can be opened when it's allowed to provide fresh air uh, the whole light lighting system has been changed and improved and now the light is uh, magnificent. It's all lit uh, in very good level, as you can see here in the master cabin. Good chance to see this master cabin from a different angle. A TV has been placed here on the port side and all these are uh, storage spaces for personal belonging, hanging lockers, more here. More here and some drawers down here. plenty of space for storage and each side has three windows to provide the natural light and fresh air two windows there and another window is on the ensuite I believe and another window round one here on the port side so that was the master cabin we are heading back to the main deck Here we are back in the corridor and moving slightly astern and turning into the galley. Now many things has been done in the galley as well. Let's have a quick look first and general look at this galley. It's fairly large galley to the size of the boat. Uh, the top, the top uh, working surfaces has been renewed and now it's uh, a coriander, I believe they, they call this material. It's a polymer deep sink, new dishwasher from Sauber, uh, induction stove from Ballet and oven from Ballet down here now there is a crew pantry area which the crew can sit here rest and have a bite and two very large domestic fridges and freezers from Samsung just in front of the camera um, just behind me there is a coffee machine and, um, and a microwave, which is also new. Now, the way to the crew area in this boat is with sharp stairs from here. I'm going to show this area as the last chapter of our uh, video today. There is another entrance for the crew from the very front foredeck. 
so they don't have to pass from here. They can go to for operations from the crew area directly to the foredeck. We are back in the corridor <clears throat> heading further astern and there are two more doors that we need to explore here. One which is very messy now because as I told you some people are working on board so I asked all of them to put things inside here in order to make the rest of the boat uh, more tidy and this this uh, service room is connected to the engine room and what we hear is the generator working so let's quickly explore what we see here there are two uh, machines here washing machine and dryers they are also new now there are three big uh, inverters here from vitron which are new one two and three and these inverters are related together with the uh, charging controllers here also from Vitron, uh, getting the power from the solar panels on the top of the uh, pilot house. And okay, I don't know how to open it, but anyway, the lithium batteries are just behind this. I would make a last attempt to open it, but I think it's somehow, yeah. No. Okay, anyway, the lithium batteries are behind this and what is uh, converting their power to 220 is these three uh, blue large inverters from uh, Vitron. So there is a massive power of 220 while the generator is closed and you can enjoy the, uh, the 220 voltage uh, while it's quiet. We are moving uh, slightly astern, and this is the day head. Very clean, also has been rebuilt and renovated. A little bit of work still going on, like the controllers of the toilet, but it's pretty much uh, the end of the work here. And here we are in this beautiful salon which has been totally rebuilt and designed. Beautiful area to spend time in the summer as well as in the winter. Large flat TV has been placed here and some uh, artwork can be placed and alternated on, on it uh, like a picture hanging on the wall. very large windows with good shading on them so even when you sit down on the couches you can see the view very beautifully outside nice carpet and the flooring has been uh, has been saved uh, I'm, uh, probably it's not the original but this has not been changed just corrected here and there we are moving uh, astern in the salon. Let's have a quick look again from this angle to the salon. Now, let me remind you that if you want to learn more about this boat, you will find a link to her webpage at the video description below and you can always drop me an email and I will provide you with additional photos and commercial information. Now here on the port side at, uh, at the back side of the salon there is a stairway leading us down into the three guest cabins. The guest cabins has, uh, have been uh, treated the same as the master cabin, total refit. So we have VIP cabin here, which we are going to explore in details, and two uh, guest cabins, which are both um, twin cabins. Let's start with the VIP cabin. It's a full beam VIP cabin, beautifully designed, very clean and clear, very good light system, 
a lot of storage space for personal belongings, like we see here, and also very deep hanging, uh, hanging locker. TV from LG placed here on the wall. You can watch TV from the bed. And more space for personal belongings. This might be, uh, can be divided into drawers, but the space is here, very easy to do. Uh, still under some works and we are at the ensuite of the VIP cabin. Sink, toilet, good size shower. Very nicely made, clean. And here we are back in the cabin itself. And let's go to explore the other and the last two guest cabins. So this is the starboard side. Let me open the light here. Yeah. The cabin is very uh, wide, com uh, I mean, relatively for the size of the boat and the fact that it's a twin, uh, twin cabin. <clears throat> Good light, natural light, as well as uh, the new lighting system. Good storage space for personal belongings. Two drawers down there. Let's check one of them. Yeah. And there is an ensuite. Let's turn on the light here. Yeah. Some work has been done here a few minutes before I was here. Um, okay, sink, toilet, same size shower as in the VIP cabin. And we are back into the cabin itself. From here you can see how wide it is. TV facing the beds, same TV from LG. Back to the corridor. We are going to check an identical, um, turning the light, identical cabin, twin cabin, very good size, newly made, the whole design is new. Same LG TV on the wall. Same capacity for personal belongings. Door, still missing the locker. It will come this week. And identical ensuite with a sink, toilet, and shower. The boat is clean. There are no bad smells in the boat, as you can expect. So that was, the, that was the accommodation for the guest cabins uh, in the aft part of the boat. We will make our way now back uh, to the main deck. <clears throat> Another chance to see this salon from slightly different angle. And we are stepping slightly astern. There is a very wide door connecting the aft deck area with the salon, makes it one big space. Very good connection. And here we have a table for six. Again, beautiful area to spend time. This canoe shape, stern. We have two massive bullards here for mooring. One here, one there, together with the capstans, electrical capstans down here. Fair leads on the stern, connection to shore power. And this door, which opens, we have two options for passerelle, this uh, hanging passerelle, which is very light. And there is another electrical passerelle which is quite long. 
I will show you the door to it. It's down here, it's opening, and the whole passerelle is stretching for four or maybe even five meters. Uh, this thing is offered for sale with a boat. Uh, it's 4.2 meter with the Evan Road engine. And this is how this aft deck looks facing forward. Now, the last part of our video today is going to be the engine room. Uh, the engine room is under heavy service, though the boat is fully functional. Uh, the, this week, we are waiting for the uh, uh, insulation for the generators, the white boxes, new white boxes that will cover the generators uh, to reduce uh, noise. Uh, as well as many other jobs which ha has been done. I'm going to list in the web page uh, a lot of new things that has been done. The first look, the engine room looks not good, but uh, after uh, the main jobs will be completed, it's going to be painted and, uh, and the cosmetic part is going to be done as well. So I asked the, the engineer to close the generator so we can hear uh, we can hear my explanations. Okay, um, the engine room doesn't look good now, and the reason is that there is a lot of work going on, and I would like to point out what is going on and what has been done in the engine room because there is a lot of lot of things uh, has been has been done here. So first of all. Um, a new boxes, insulation boxes for noise are going to come this week and I'm, are going to cover the generators and that is the reason, let's start from that, that is the reason that you see a generator which looks like this with a lot of cabling and a control panel hanging and all this is going to be well organized in a new box which is coming this week and the boxes will be nice and new and will cover the generators. Now, um, we skipped a little bit. Let's start with the engines. The engines are MAN engines. They are from 2005. They replaced the old uh, Rolls-Royce engines. And as you can understand from the engine hours, they haven't been used too much. At the moment, they have about 1,500 hours. Uh, they went through very major uh, service last year in Istanbul by a uh, uh, authorized man uh, company uh, and they are in very good condition. Many things has been done by the present owner. Let me point out a few of them. So there are four new uh, pumps here for the air conditioning system as you can see here, brand new from this year. There is a new Hydro 4 uh, system for the a uh, fresh water system in order to enhance and stabilize the fresh water uh, pressure in the boat. On top of that, uh, two units, these green units, I'm going to, I'm trying to get there, uh, is, is uh, related to the fresh water uh, system and uh, and stabilize the whole pressure and you can take five showers in all the showers in the boat and you have pressure and good pressure. Now you see the new uh, pipes here, the black pipes and one blue pipe. These are all related to the exhaust system of the generator and the main engine as well as the discharge of the seawater pump from the exhaust system outside. It has been done in both sides. Down here, down here, there is a blue uh, blue pump. This is a new pump for the black water and gray water uh, tank. Um, farther, there is the water maker with the capacity or production capacity of 300 liters per hour. Uh, it just received new two two new membranes. Um, some of the uh, electrical panels, which looks the original, but they are not, they received a new um, 
switches and cabling. These are all new switches. This uh, panel is related to the batteries and it is all rebuilt with new cabling inside. So many things has been done uh, in the engine room, in, the, uh, in servicing the machinery. There is a lot of uh, cosmetic works in this engine room, but a lot of money has been invested as well. Um, yeah, I hope I can provide you with uh, new photos within a few weeks, but this is how it looks now. So that was, uh, that was the tour in the engine room. Uh, looking back, that's the service room that we uh, visited earlier with the lithium batteries and the large inverters that can provide a lot of power to the boat together with the solar panels. Uh, the last thing that we are going to see is on the other side, is on the starboard side. We will walk there. In the meantime, let me remind you that if you want to learn more about this boat, you can visit our webpage by using the link at the video description below. <clears throat> and we are going to the starboard side and I would like to, so, to show you the access to the water from the deck. We can already see it from here. Let's get closer. Operation is done by these two joysticks and this is how it works. Now, another major thing that has been done is uh, painting uh, the top side of the boat using uh, Joton marine paint, uh, also very large investment uh, in the boat. Now it's a little bit splashed with seawater, we just cruised, but uh, a lot of work has been done working on the paint. So the last part of our video today is going to be the crew area. Entrance is from the galley through this stairway. I'm going to meet you in a second down there. So here we are down at the lower deck at the crew area. Has a long corridor. And our first cabin to explore will be the captain's cabin, which is here. Reasonable size. Still needs a little bit of uh, treatment but it's here. Additional two cabins are here, each with two banks, one here on the starboard side, one here on the port side, and they are all sharing two toilets and sinks and wet shower right here. Another one here, toilet and sink and the shower uh, can be taken here using this tub. Now, from here, moving along this uh, corridor, there is an uh, exit to the foredeck, so the crew can also go from here outside. And here there is a, a, a ex ex access to the bow thruster, the massive bow thruster, that also has been treated uh, during the service. Some of the piping has been changed uh, and additional things has been done. Um, also the cosmetic part of it still needs to be treated, but uh, mechanical wise, uh, this place has been uh, serviced. So here we are in uh, South Spain, super humid day. It's all hazy, I'm dripping. Hope you enjoy this video.